this is amazing. I never thought I would make this video because I never imagined I would come anywhere close to 1,000 subscribers. But as of Monday, we are finally at 1,000 subscribers, and so I welcome you all to my 1,000 subscribaganza! This is basically a celebration all dedicated to you guys, all 1,000 quadruple digits of you, and counting. I think we're actually up to like 1,005 now? That's amazing. I'm so late making this video, I'm sorry. Anyway, I think it's worth mentioning that our 1,000th subscriber was the lovely Windsong1992. She's very beautiful and majestic and graceful, and if she is a guy, then she's very masculine and strong. But let's tell them what they've won. Win song 1992 on the very off chance you ever come to New York, I will treat you to dinner. I don't care where we go, we could go to get sushi or pizza or whatever, but your dinner is on me. Internet anonymity, who cares? Don't you want a free dinner? No, but seriously, like, I'm completely serious. If, if you ever, on the off chance, come to New York, that is literally your prize. I will get you dinner. The 999th subscriber was the Beasleys, and unfortunately, you were a tad premature. You need to learn patience, and you win nothing. Now then, to the gritty, gritty, nitty gritty of what the subscriber video is all about. Number one, I have finally at long last released an MP3 version of the Dr. Tot rap. Now you can download it onto your iPod or portable music MP3 playing device. And you can, you can use it while you're on the, the train or in the car or driving or on the subway, or uh, doing homework. But Dr. Tot will always be there with you, with his mad gangsta skills. And at the end of the day, isn't that all we really want? Yeah. Number two! I have made a frequently asked questions video, colloquially referred to as a fact video. Uh, it answers the hard-hitting questions. If you ever wanted to know uh, what my favorite cheese is, then you should go over there and check it on out. Number three. This is a big one. Uh, my darling friend Camarilla and I have made a website. By which I mean she made a website and I wrote, like, words to put in the website, but she was pretty much in charge of the making it pretty and everything. For those of you who don't know, Camarilla is the lovely young lady who plays Vivi in the Final Fantasy IX band up. Uh, you can find the site. It's amazing. It looks gorgeous. It's www.ffixdub.webs.com. And all right? Yes, I got it. Yeah, look here, you can go see the dub. We have all the videos currently released thus far up on the site. You don't even have to go to YouTube to watch them. It's amazing. But this is the future, guys. Technology. We have a cast page where you have all the cast members listed there. So the next time you ask, Hey, actor man, who plays the Dane Tribal in your Final Fantasy IX dub? Well, you can just go to the cast list, and it's right there. It's uh, Zidane Tribal. It's played by Actor Man. So when you're asked that at trivia with your family, when you go to Applebee's, you'll know the answer, and you'll get a uh, hundred points for your team. Uh, we, there's also an about page where I get overly sentimental and talk about my experiences with the dub, and there's also a little blurb about Actor Man myself. If you want to know about me, my real name is there. That's weird. Whatever. Who cares? Frequently asked questions. It's pretty much the same thing that you're going to see in the FAQ video if you choose to watch it, and I hope you do because I spent a lot of time on that. Um, but this one is all in text form. You can read it, you could make it into an ebook and put it on your Kindle, uh, if you really want to, I don't know why you would. Uh, it answers a lot of really important questions that I get a lot. Uh, it's very fascinating. Extras! Right here we have stuff like bonus features, which is stuff like the Dr. Tot rap or the Final Fantasy VIII mock dub. We also have cast links, which will link you to the YouTubes or whatevers 
of other people in the dub so you can see their work because they're all way more talented than me. Uh, then we also have a thing that I'd like to touch on pretty uh, uh, quickly called the character hotline. It's a new thing that I'd like to get off the ground. Uh, the character hotline is basically you send us an email at ff9dub.gmail.com and uh, you can address a question to any character in the dub and every so often I will make a video and we'll get the cast together and we'll just answer all your questions. Um, yeah, the, the, like the, the, I mean the character will answer the questions for that character. It'll be great. You can ask any question uh, as ridiculous or as serious as you want. I have a couple samples here that I'll play for you. This is basically how it's going to play out. Signature dish of mine, eh? Hmm. I suppose those guys saw pickles made quite the eccentric dinner the other night. Oh, yes! That's it! Forget about the pickles! The dish delish for a night of my shining stature is none other than Alexandria's own Moogle Meringue Pie. What is it? Why, I'm so glad you asked. The recipe is quite simple, really. And contrary to the name, it actually doesn't require the slaughtering of those adorable little fuzzballs. You see, one actually takes the local nuts and mashes them into a fine paste, mixing a little flavoring using some sour concentrate, and let it bake in an oven or sit in front of a fire idolon at approximately 372 degrees for 15 minutes. Of course, you're free to add your own little toppings to make it personalized when it's done. Me? I really enjoy seasoning my dishes with a dash of sprinkled remains from the Oglops I DESECRATED WITH MY SWORD! DEAD! DECEASED! KILLED! RIDDED FOR MY LIFE AND FREED OF THEIR PITIFUL EXISTENCE WITH BUT A SWING OF THE steel FOR MY- <coughs> <coughs> But yes, a garnish of that just adds just the kind of zing needed for an already splendid dessert item. Well, I think that about answers it. Make sure you try one for yourself the next time you come to visit our wonderful Queen Bronze abode. So yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, last but certainly not least, I have uploaded the rest of episode 7. That is Four new parts. You know how it usually takes me a month to get out like a one part of this? I stayed up all weekend, I got out four. It's amazing, that was a lot of work. Go watch them now. You'll love them, they're great. They're pretty awesome. I ran into pretty much every problem that a fan dubber can run into with this episode, but I promise they're still pretty good. Um, leave a comment. I might reply to a comment where we'll get like a dialogue going, it'll be great. This is the stuff that like we, we live for, it's awesome. A few other things, uh, you can now contact us via email through uh, ffixdub at gmail.com and uh, we also have a Facebook group which I'm gonna link here so you can go to Facebook and join and show all your friends how much you love Final Fantasy IX and amateur fan dubs of Final Fantasy IX. It'll be great, I guess. Uh, so basically, that's it. We have a Dr. Tot rap, we got a website, we have a fact video, we got like four new videos. I think it's actually three now because I merged them together to save some time. But anyway, what are you doing here? Just go watch the videos. It's going to be awesome. Go enjoy the fruits of my labor.